Hello, welcome to this lesson of linear algebra. We're going to do our final problem here on finding eigenvalues. And then in the next section, we'll continue our discussion and teach you how to find those eigenvectors. This will be a special matrix that I'll use because I want to show you that you can use everything in your power to find these darn eigenvalues. What if you have a large matrix? 5, negative 2, 6, negative 1, 0, 3, negative 8, 0, 0, 0, 5, 4, 0, 0, 0, 1. We want to find the eigenvalues of that matrix. First thing you do, which is the thing you always do, is you find the determinant of this matrix that's modified as follows. 5 minus lambda, negative 2, 6, negative 1, 0, 3 minus lambda, negative 8, 0, 0, 0, 5 minus lambda, 4, 0, 0, 0, 1 minus lambda. So you take the diagonal elements, you subtract lambda, everything else remains the same, and you're setting this determinant equal to zero. So you have to decide for yourself how to find the determinant. If you want to expand about this row, then you're going to have a little tough time because at every step of the way, you'll have a determinant of a three by three matrix left over, which as you know, is quite a bit of work anyway. And since the determinant has lambdas everywhere, it's a lot of algebra to keep track of. In this case, we notice that the, that the uh, matrix we were given is already in triangular form. And remember, you can find determinants if you can get the matrix in triangular form, if either if it's already like that in this case, or if you do your own row operations to get there, um, then basically the determinant is the product of the diagonal element. So because this one's already triangular, you already know that the determinant is as follows. 5 minus lambda, 3 minus lambda, 5 minus lambda, 1 minus lambda. You know that that's the case. So in this case, it's already falling out because it's triangular. But even